For those of you who are not familiar with Port Tech, we are a nonprofit public private partnership consisting of the consist, consisting of the City of Los Angeles, the Port of Los Angeles, and two chambers of commerce of local um, port adjacent communities, San Pedro and Wilmington. Uh, we were founded on the basic idea uh, that the ports of LA and Long Beach face many environmental, clean energy, logistics, and homeland security challenges, and that every challenge represents a business opportunity. Our mission, therefore, is to find companies with cutting-edge technologies that will help solve port problems, bring them to Los Angeles Harbor area, mentor those companies through the testing, commercialization, marketing, and business development stages, and in the process, bottom line, create jobs. Today's event highlights one of our client companies, TransPower. TransPower's zero emission, heavy duty electric vehicles are an excellent example of a technology that benefits the environment, uses clean energy, and by being capable of hauling 80,000 pounds, helps keep port container traffic moving sustainably. To unveil these exciting new vehicles, we have with us this morning California Energy Commissioner Carla Peterman and TransPower President CEO Mike Simon. Commissioner Peterman was appointed by Governor Brown to the five-member State Energy Commission in January 2011. She holds a master's degree in environmental change and management and an MBA both from Oxford University where she was a Rhodes Scholar. During her career, she has conducted research at the University of California Energy Institute, Lawrence Berkeley National Lab, and was an associate at Lehman Brothers, where she focused on energy financing and investment banking division. Commissioner Peterman's areas of interest include renewables, transportation, natural gas, and she contributes to the state's biennial integrated energy progress report. It's my pleasure to introduce California Energy Commission, Commissioner Carla Peter. It is my pleasure to be here with you today to celebrate this milestone in clean transportation. The California Energy Commission is proud to join the South Coast Air Quality Management District as significant funders of TransPower. And we are excited about the company's contribution to helping the state meet its air quality and environmental goals. I'd also like to offer a special welcome to high school students from the Los Angeles, Port of Los Angeles High School. It will take decades to green our economy, and so I look forward to the contributions that you will make. Heavy duty trucks like these are the backbone of California's economy and our ability to move goods and freight efficiently from factory or port to retailers and eventually to our homes. No, actually, I want to correct that. Heavy-duty trucks are the backbone of California's economy, but the trucks that we have now are not like these. They are not clean, and they are not zero emission. And that's why we're here today. We're here to celebrate the innovation that TransPower is bringing to this critical sector and the benefits that trucks like these will bring to Californians. Over 80% of all the freight in California moves by heavy duty truck. And so goods movement has a significant impact on our economy and our environment. California medium and heavy duty vehicles are less than 2% of our total vehicle fleet population, but consume about 16% of all fuel. The air pollution from this fuel directly impacts public health. This is especially prevalent near our ports and in the Central Valley, where we have many trucks used in farm operations and agricultural transport. Although many opportunities are regional, as the consumers of these products, we are all part of the solution. State and federal public health regulations are pushing the California truck fleet to cleaner diesel. But clean diesel will not be adequate to meet new public health and greenhouse gas emission standards. Cleaner, zero emission transportation that can meet the market's diverse power and hauling needs is critical. 
What we need is exemplified by trans power. Next generation, green, advanced technology vehicles like all electric, heavy duty trucks. TransPower is one of several California companies tackling the technology challenge of integrating electric drivetrains and battery packs into a heavy duty tractor that will have zero tailpipe emissions as a truck moves through congested urban areas. Technical and cost challenges are amplified when you try and build an electric truck. You need a lot of power for a long time to move up to 80,000 pounds of cargo. Current battery packs and electric motors are typically good at one or the other. TransPower is developing technological solutions and software that can integrate both of these power requirements into one seamless system. Through its alternative and renewable fuel and vehicle technology program, the California Energy Commission is helping to reduce challenges to cleaner vehicle deployment by funding companies like TransPower. Our initial $1 million award allowed TransPower to build and test a working prototype all-electric vehicle. An additional half million dollar grant from the South Coast Air Quality Management District allowed TransPower to build a second truck and test it in the San Pedro Port area. TransPower has matched this public funding with 1.6 million in private capital. TransPower recently competed for and secured a second Energy Commission grant for another 860,000 to develop electric drayage trucks that can be used in operational trials here at the ports of Los Angeles and Long Beach. Especially during this economic time, it's important to remember that with zero emission futures come good jobs and manufacturing opportunities for California. The technology connected in the manufacturing, installation, and maintenance of TransPower's innovations can lead to fostering up to 1,500 highly skilled jobs for Southern California. Additionally, the Commission's AB 118 investments through 2011 have assisted with the creation of over 3,600 jobs in the clean transport sector, and we're looking forward to supporting more. TransPower illustrates the value of public and private sector cooperation to move higher value products into the marketplace. This is a type of technology that California needs to be investing in today. Although the Energy Commission's 100 million annual investment in alternative fuels is sizable, it is still less than the $200 million that Californians spend on gasoline a day. Over the next decade, private investment and public programs such as the Commission's AB 118 program will be crucial. The Energy Commission is proud to support companies like TransPower and to help them to create new technologies, cleaner air, and the jobs for the 21st century. Congratulations to Mike and his staff and best wishes on your achievement. So I now have the pleasure to introduce the President and CEO of TransPower, Mike Simon. Well, I haven't even done the introduction yet, but thank you. Um, I guess that was for him. Uh, so Mike is President and CEO of TransPower and has spent the past 15 years focused on electrification of large transportation systems, including battery electric, hybrid electric, and fuel cell vehicles, and even rail vehicles using innovative linear motor technologies. During his career, Mike spent 11 years with General Dynamics working on advanced space transportation systems and five years assisting General Atomics commercialize advanced transportation and energy technologies. He holds a master's degree in engineering from Stanford University where he completed a multidisciplinary program combining engineering, economics, and political science. 
I had the opportunity to speak with Mike earlier, and I have to say for the employees of TransPower that he is really proud of the work you're doing. You know, were sitting upstairs, and he was pointing out different people and said, well, this person did that, and this person did that, and so it truly is a team effort, and I'm looking forward to hearing more about the trucks we have behind us. So thank you, and welcome. Thank you, Herb and Carla, for the warm introduction. I don't have any prepared remarks. I, I would just like to speak from the heart for a few minutes and, and add sort of a personal saga to put uh, some uh, a human uh, touch to, to the story of how the public and private sector can work together to make projects like this happen. Um, I got the idea of uh, building the world's most powerful electric truck about five or six years ago. And at the time, as, as Carla mentioned, I worked for a large company, um, General Atomics, and I couldn't get them interested in making the investment. I, I told them it would be about a million dollars, and they said, mm, you know, don't really want to spend that kind of money. So then I went to a small company, and uh, a different small company, and I made the same proposal to them. They said, a mm, million dollars, it's a lot of money. I'm not really interested in doing that. And uh, I was kind of wringing my hands how to get this truck built, and then General Atomics did me a favor and laid me off. And uh, so I was, uh, my office was now my computer adjacent to my bedroom, and I had a choice. I could be a middle-aged engineer looking for work and uh, doing what somebody else wanted me to do, or I could make one last effort to get my million dollars and build this electric truck. So I took a chance, and I, uh, I responded to uh, the offer from the California Energy Commission, the solicitation that they put out um, under this AB 118 program, the Alternative and Renew Renewable Fuel and Vehicle Technology Program. And, you know, without having anything, like no company, uh, I didn't even have a screwdriver, I just was basically working, literally sitting in my pajamas in front of a computer in my bedroom. And I wrote a proposal saying, I want a million dollars to build an electric truck. And guess what? The Energy Commission said, sure. <laughs> With a little bit of that. Um, it, so, um, so I think this just goes to show how important the public sector can be uh, when, when a big company turns you down, a small company turns you down. You know, the, the private sector, the free market economy is great. It's what got America where we are today. But we also did it through, through partnership. The, the public sector has always played a tremendous role in advancing technologies. Uh, and moving us into the future because frankly the private sector doesn't always have the wherewithal to stick it out for the long haul so when you talk about long-term technology developments whether it be the intercontinental rail uh, transcontinental railroad or whether it be uh, the development of aviation technology or the ability to send people to the moon uh, these are all activities where the public sector and the private sector have had to work together creatively and I think that it's, it's uh, what we're doing together today to develop these types of zero emission vehicles is just as important as the Transcontinental Railroad and Project Apollo and will have impacts on our society that are equally important in terms of reducing dependence on foreign fuels and all the costs associated with defending oil in the Middle East and all that, uh, reducing pollution, reducing premature deaths and, and uh, health effects and reducing health care costs because we have healthier people and fewer days of missed school and missed work. Uh, the list goes on and on. So this is you know, just a tremendously important endeavor and we're, we're extremely grateful to the Energy Commission for taking that, that chance on, on us. Um, the uh, South Coast Air Quality Management District, as Carla mentioned, um, threw in some additional money that helped us build a second truck. We also got some money from the state of Texas to help build this yard tractor and this was kind of unusual. This was a, a rare case of Texas exporting jobs to California. But, uh, you know, uh, just shows where California, with the seed money from the Energy Commission, made that all possible. And then the, the ports of LA and Long Beach are now also supporting us, as well as the California Air Resources Board, which has funded us to develop an electric school bus. So it's a great, great team effort with, um, you know, multiple uh, federal agencies, the Department of Energy and the uh, Environmental Protection Agency are also supporting us now, as well as the uh, ARB and the California Energy Commission, two federal agencies, two state agencies, and the AQMD, and a lot of hard work and sweat equity from our employees who worked until midnight on Labor Day uh, to, uh, to get these vehicles to the point where we could bring them up here and show them to you today. 